Hello everyone, The316 here, back with another Morphin Monday Lightning Collection review. This time, I finally got my hands on the final TMNT2 pack of Morphed Donatello and Morphed Leonardo. Almost forgot their names for a second there. Uh, normally retails from anywhere from $49.99 to $52.99. I was able to get mine for 50% off, I think $26. 49 something like that from big bad toy store so yeah finally was able to get this for a price that i was satisfied with but anyway let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories first so both sets of figures gets the same hands as the other two turtles that i've reviewed so you get all your fisted hands over here you get all of your open more gesturing hands on the left there and you get the holding hands which you'll see in a second here you get some alternate heads as well for leonardo and donatello which uh they look pretty good not sure what they were going for with donatello's like he's got his teeth showing but i'm not sure if he looks if he's supposed to be looking angry here or if he's constipated leonardo looks good though just generically mm, face uh, okay, a couple more accessories to get through for Donatello. We got here the, if I can get it out of his hands, we got the Power Axe Staff with a new effect piece as well. And we get the Power Axe so that you can make the, uh, whatever they're, what's the finishing move called? Basically where they combine all the weapons together for the final move. And uh, I have tried... This is just a remold of Mighty Morphin Blacks. This part does move. Not sure if you could hear that on camera, but it's really stuck. So I'm just not going to bother moving it. And I'll probably never use this part anyway. This new effect piece is designed specifically for this version of the Power Axe Staff. Uh, basically, as you can see, the thickness. The old one is too thick compared to the new one. So it's definitely not going to fit this effect piece. But... Really nice new effect piece. I do like it. I like that it's in this kind of greenish color. Not too bad. And then for Leonardo, if I can get these out of his hands. Come on, you. Come on. Out of your hand. All right. For Leonardo, he gets the uh, Power Lance Swords or Katanas uh, with a new effect piece. At least I haven't seen this before. Uh, these aren't the exact same mold. I'm trying to get my hand to. Don't want you to see that. Anyway, comes with two power sword. Not power swords. Power axe lances. Why is my focus? There we go. Uh, and they do have the uh, logo on there of the. Uh, what am I thinking of? The, what, which direction does this go? There you go the uh, Triceratops and they again like as I was saying they are different molds one of them has a port one of them has a uh, connecting piece that way you can make the fully extended version of the power lance so if you want him to hold that he can but uh, when you want to put it into the power blaster formation one of them has a, a port as you can see so it's not going to look uh, absolutely correct and while I'm here I might as well show you what I mean put that on that side and let's put this one over here uh, so if you put those all together you can see it looks kind of weird I mean and it's also much longer than the power axe itself which uh, it's kind of hard for the these figures to hold on to that power axe because it wasn't designed for them to hold it even the open hand here has a hard time trying to grasp it you can set it up against their hand but they're not going to hold it Anyway, that's all the accessories for these two particular figures. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual figures themselves. So let's start off with Leonardo. A lot of people like to argue that he's the team leader, apparently. I'm not too deep into Turtles lore, but uh, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but he does have those red eyes there. They're painted nicely, and in shadow, very difficult to see. Um... Uh, the paint looks good on mine. Comes with the yellow on the sides for the eyes. But on the front there, nothing 
two major paint wise there's a triceratops as well that all looks good that all looks good paint wise uh basically the exact same figures here but they're uh this rubber piece is different for both of them so for them it holds both of their weapons so you can stick you know one in there and one in there that one goes down Ooh, that one's a bit of a tight squeeze but as you can see then you can have their weapons on their backs and let me do this for donatello real quick stick that i'm not sure if this is supposed to go upwards or downwards there we go just trying to get this open so that it'll fit in there i'll just stick it on like that i think that looks best so yeah it's great that uh, all of these figures can hold on to their weapons or they can holster them either way how you want to display them and these are the only turtles with the uh, the bandoliers across their chest or whatever it's called i would assume it's bandolier i don't know I, it's also a lot easier to see through the sides of these figures than it is the other two that i have maybe it's just the uh, contrast maybe it's how it's molded i don't know uh, but the you know the back of their shells look good not too bad let me get a close-up of donatello for you again he's got the red eyes mastodon looks good little paint nick but kind of hard to see from a distance also has the yellow on top and then you can see the mastodon symbol on there uh, paint looks good on him too i don't see any major issues at least nothing that stands out to me so yeah donatello leonardo looking good and uh, i'll just leave their weapons on their backs for now all right let's do uh the box next okay so uh, there's the top of the box nicely decoed on the side of the box there you get leonardo and you got donatello <laughs> And uh, on the bottom, you got your legalese as per usual. So nothing too special with the box. Man, the red background really contrasts nice with these colors, especially the blue. This blue is very bright. Like, it's very striking of blue. Uh, the black is normally what I expect. All right, let's go ahead and get on to size comparisons. Starting off with these two, with just their head into consideration... These guys look to be just shorter than six inches. They're not quite, actually, yeah, like just shy of six inches. Not, uh, I, I always expected these ones to be a little bit bigger. Anyway, let's stick them towards the middle here. And let's see how they look next to a few other lines. We got McFarlane DC Multiverse Shriek. Yeah, my Donatello has problems standing, but... To be fair, I did knock into that figure. Okay, next up, let's do Jazzwares Spartan Yoroi. I'll put him in the center since he's pretty much the tallest. We got some more Hasbro lines, some G.I. Joe, classified Outback. Uh, we got the Hatut Zaraze with a little uh, handbag. And then we got black and white Amanda Connor Batman statue. See, am I forgetting any lines? Nope, I think that's that's all of them. Oh, right, I did forget one. We have the uh, Mattel Drew McIntyre. So yeah, they, uh, they're they kind of short. I don't know why they're so short. If they were just like, like a, maybe a quarter of an inch or even an eighth of an inch taller, I think these would be even better figures for the price point. But, you know, as is next to some others, they look pretty good. To be fair, though, this guy, he's pretty tall in comparison to other 6-inch G.I. Joe figures. Let's get these guys out of the way here. And then we can look at the rest of the Lightning Collection line next to them. Get them out of the way. Alright, so let's look at them next to some other Lightning Collection figures. Here's Mighty Morphin White. Surprised they never did a... Uh, turtle mighty morphin white figure like they could have made casey jones the white ranger that would have made sense to me anyway uh we got mighty morphin black here the atom version with power x speaking of which while i have him here i'll show you the difference 
So if you don't have if you have the Atom version of the Power Axe and you get this two pack, the Power Axes are different, but you could use this one. I mean, other than the staff being a different color, you're you're good to go. And uh, that that axe piece is from my Dragon Shield Black Ranger. So I just swapped it with the uh, extinguisher weapon. And then here's Mighty Morphin Blue. As you can see, the the, the blue color is so much darker compared to the uh, turtle one. It's very surprising how bright the uh, turtle's blue is. So yeah, there he is next to some other, or they are next to some Mighty Morphin figures. Looks good. I'd, uh, I don't know if both suits were on the comic panel at the same time. I do not know. All right, let's get these guys out of the way here. And finally, we can take a look at these figures next to uh, the rest of the line of turtle figures. Except Shredder. I still don't have Green Ranger Shredder waiting for a sale on him. All right, first we got some Red Ranger, Raphael. And we got some Yellow Ranger Michelangelo. And then I don't have the helmet on her, but here's April O'Neil. Uh, yeah, these five look great together. Except April O'Neil, of course. But, you know, I got that two pack for like $13. Can I really be mad? And, oh, one more. We got Foot Soldier Tommy. Uh, but, yeah. Like I said, this line looks great. Hope to get Green Ranger Shredder soon, then I can do the proper full overview of the uh, offerings of this particular line. Uh, as it stands, though, with just having these three two-packs, it's great. I mean, you know, the fact that this is one of those crossovers, or rather even any just any Lightning Collection product that feels like a lot of passion and care was put into it. Uh, there was a recent fan stream uh, two days before Once and Always debuted, which got my hopes up because they actually did address QC problems in the line. Not not specifically, but they're like, it, it, it's more than I expected them to do. They actually addressed, they're like, hey, if you got problems, please contact customer service. We, we're we watching, we know what's happening, yada, yada. I Again, I appreciate a little bit of transparency but to me, I feel that these, uh, you know, these two packs are kind of the gold standard. You know, they all work together. None of them have an improper colored part. All of them look how they're supposed to. Uh, you know, it, it is pinless figures, all of them, except, you know, Foot Soldier Tommy. And uh, I think she's got pins too, but... You know, the, the, I, I feel a lot of care was put into this, and I hope that future releases from 2023 and beyond feel as if that care was put into them as well. I hope that we could see the uh, newest uh, Turtle crossover figures. I probably won't buy those unless I get a good deal on them, like I got all six of these figures. But anyway, I think that concludes this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this two-pack or any of these uh, particular figures. I think they're great. Uh, if you find them on a good sale, though, is when I would buy them. I wouldn't buy them straight away. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe, and hit the bell. Everything helps. And as always, 